the private stuff that I've sent you guys to the I think I would have been just a little bit more. I would have been 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 so I've got this sort of a new language of talking about whole and pure harmony. Such so like, are you calling things triads? Are you calling things perfect fourths? How are you? Well, we do call them triads, but we don't call them fourths. Well, I guess you could call it a fourth, but um, certainly not in relation to like what you normally think of. Major second. Be a minor third. Yeah, normally I guess if you say half step, whole step, I guess we call that a third, fourth, fifth. Do we, I haven't really heard that a I lot. Guess I'm wondering, do you lose major minor? Yes, so you just yes. Do major minor. We kind of do lose major minor. <laughs> Although I didn't get to point it out, but there are um, there are major and minor sounding chords you can do. So if you use the tritive as like the fifth. Yeah. And then I forget where it is because I can't hear it, but um, I guess that would be like a minor sounding chord. Yeah, that does sound minor. And then a major would be some like up here somewhere, which I can't reach. <laughs> Try to find an interval here that sounds major. Sounds kind of major. Kind of, right? Yeah. So it's kind of um, tricking it. It's kind of a trick, maybe. So it's kind of like that versus minor is like that. Major, uh, very hard to play with that hand, I guess. So you can do, that's what I started talking about, you can do things that sound like 12 tone chord progression, sort of. Yeah. That's a big board. Which one? So that's just two notes. Yeah. Oh, but it's like, um... So it always plays the bottom left note. It always plays the C this, or whatever. Yeah. You can transpose it by uh, hitting. Oh, and um, then oh, so this is playing G and C. You can transpose it by hitting these numbers. Okay. Oh, I see. So actually, so, that chart would change ever so slightly if you yeah. transpose. But in general, it's all relative. So yeah. It's going to be similar. And then this changes the octaves. Let's see okay. if that's working. It's kind of weird, but something's a little weird with that. Four is just means um, that's okay. C four. So where am I now? I want to play. <laughs> if I wanted to play E, G, and A. There you go. That's nice. E, A, and then D. Eventually, um, map P somehow so that you can play a single note on top of it, and then also play a double note. So you can play like a triad and then play another two notes on top of it, or maybe just a melody. Yeah. And actually use it kind of like a performance tool or a composition tool cool. instead of just a you know well, I would, kind of static yeah. experimental. Oh, this is so helpful. 